trying to keep it to uh, a short period of time because what he's wearing is very warm. <laughs> I remember uh, when we, uh, when this this all began, and it was a number of years ago, uh, faced with the threat of uh, eviction of the archives from the old site. So we had Mayor Bob Shirelli working on this, and we had the uh, regional minister. Uh, Jim Watson working on this. Years passed, a great deal of work, and huge changes. We had a brand new mayor and a brand new regional minister. I walked in the room, it's Bob Shirelli and Jim Watson. <laughs> I'm the only one that didn't swap jobs. Um, it's with great pleasure I welcome all of you to the Central Archives and Library Material Center. This is a wonderful addition to a growing community. I'd like to thank the province for contributing the, to the construction of the facility, which benefits not only our ward, but indeed the whole city. The new Archives and Library Materials Center is the most recent addition to a list of projects our ward has seen. This includes the new pedestrian bridge linking the Trades Building to the uh, main Algonquin College campus, the new baseline transitway station with the underground tunnel and the new western hub of transit for Ottawa, the Navajo Drive overpass, the expansion of Centerpoint Theatre, and of course, everyone's favorite, uh, we did a rib ribbon cutting for this, the opening of the sanitary sewer on Indian Road. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Ar archives opens its doors and is accessible to everybody with a keen interest in history. With classroom and workshop space, more reference and consultation space for researchers, as well as access to modern research tools, the Central Archives can become a hub of culture and learning. The Central Archives is already home to the partner libraries of the British Isles Family History Society of Greater Ottawa, the Ottawa branch of the Ontario Genealogical Society, the Sir Guy Carleton branch of the United Empire Loyalists, and the C. Robert Craig Memorial Library and the United Church Archives. I'm sure they will appreciate our newest state-of-the-art treasure along with the new amenities included in this building. The building also houses the Nerve Centre for the Ottawa Public Library's work uh, and collections management and material distribution. The place which distributes the, the weight of 16 elephants worth of books every single week. I'd like to also welcome the 60 OPL staff who are now in College Ward every single day, as well as friends of the Ottawa Public Library who raise money through the sale of books and materials donated to the OPL. Uh, I look forward to creating and expanding partnerships uh, to help make this a vibrant and lasting part of uh, the lives of people in this part of the city of Ottawa. So on behalf of everyone here and the former city of Nepean and its Mayor Mary Pitt, I thank you all for